Well, it's here. The time has finally arrived. Hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, kick off your shoes and relax your socks while we unbox this PlayStation 5. Wow, now first of all, this is a pretty damn heavy box and it's pretty big. I mean, hopefully you can still see me over it. I really love the look of the box. It's really nice. I've caught glimpses of it um, online, especially when I was pre-ordering it, but I've done my utmost to completely avoid all unboxings and so then it's a complete raw surprise for me. So without further ado, let's get stuck in and hopefully let's make sure I keep the box in nice pristine condition. I still remember when I was unboxing my PlayStation 2 all those years ago. I hadn't unboxed many consoles back then. I was still quite young and I ended up ripping the box not realizing the correct way to get into it. And I've still got that box now and I always look at it and think, oh God, why don't I just take more care? Now this sticky, hopefully is coming off nicely. No tears. Nice. I'm gonna try and open this with me still in shot, but we'll see how it goes. Now I have seen the Xbox Series X unboxings and I'm suspecting this isn't gonna be quite as an elaborate packaging, but we'll see. I do love the um, the blue and white aesthetic they're going for with the uh, PlayStation 5. I know a lot of people are divided on the um, actual look of the console, but I'm one of those people that absolutely loves the way it looks. Right, there we go. Let's get that over there somewhere safe. We don't want to wreck that. Gonna have to find some place up there for the box. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to find place space for the actual PlayStation 5. I think um, for the time being, it's gonna be right here but I want to try and keep it away from uh, the kid's sticky fingers. So I might have to find somewhere in the corner for it. Okay. So some instructions on the side there for pulling it out, but I think we should be all right. Tell you what, it is a big box this. We've got the power cable, so no brick on that. So I'm happy to see that. I'm sick of bricks. I hope there's no brick anyway. Oh, we've got the controller. Let's have a little look at the controller. I am excited to see this. I've been so excited to see the controller. Oh wow, that really is nice. It's got a wonderful feel. The actual grips there, they're longer than the standard, like than the PS4, the, the DS4, but oh, and the triggers. It, it's got a lot more like a, an Xbox One feel to it. It looks really nice. I love the um, the, the detailing on the sides as well, where, where the light comes up, so. And has this got it? I think if you look really close. Yeah, it's got the uh, triangle circle X square grip as well. They've done a brilliant job with this controller. Absolutely brilliant. The triggers as well. I'm looking forward to feeling the, um, the adaptive triggers as well. Excellent. Gorgeous looking console. I'm very happy with that. Nice, right. Let's get to the main event. Usual paperwork. Whoever reads that these days, eh? Whoever reads the paperwork. So we got the USB-C charging cable. We got the HDMI cable. And I think this is the stand, isn't it? This must be the stand. There it is, there's the stand. There we go, with the uh, little hidden screw compartment. Like I said, yeah, the, the box isn't quite as elaborate as the um, as the Xbox Series X box. It's a much more standard kind of packaging, but there we go. Let's get this bad boy out. It's a heavy ass bad boy. I'm gonna go on its side. I wonder, has anybody done an unboxing of these where they dropped the console? <laughs> Let's make sure we don't make the first one. Out. Here we go. This is one heavy mother. Wow. All right, let's do the reveal. Wow, there she is. Get rid of all that. There she is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what an absolute beast. That is huge, isn't it? It's it's so weird having seen the like the the, the reveal of it, the videos and for so long and not being able to actually see one in real life seeing one right now in real life in front of me this is 
but it's surreal it's amazing wow such a it's got a lovely gloss as well and uh, again it's got like the, the the triangle circle square x detailing on there i love it i know a lot of people aren't too keen on the like asymmetric design of the disc version but i actually really like it it reminds me a lot of the um, playstation 2 design that is gorgeous what do you guys think oh yeah so the whole reason you actually tuned into this unboxing rather than any other one let's customize it <laughs> there you go jordan customized playstation 5 <laughs> no seriously i've had this sticker for ages since i picked up some jordans and it's such a cool sticker i didn't know where to use it i want to save it for something good and then i thought I'm gonna stick it on my PlayStation 5. I just thought it looked really nice against this white backdrop. And plus, you know, I gotta do something to make this unboxing stand out against all the others that have been out for ages already. But I don't know, tell me what you think. What do you think of the uh, customized PlayStation 5 Jordan version? So I'm gonna be that guy that when somebody asks, what's the first thing you did when you got your PlayStation 5? Stuck a sticker on it. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. It was just a quick, fun unboxing. I tried to make it a little bit different. I can't wait any longer. I'm going to fire this up and start playing some Miles Morales. I'm going to be live streaming it, so probably... It'll probably have happened before you watch this episode, uh, but it'll be online anyway. You can go and check that out if you want. But I'll be doing loads of PlayStation 5 um, streaming in the future, and I'll be doing loads more PlayStation 5 content as well. So if that interests you and you haven't already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Once again, thank Thank you for watching and see you next time. A big thank you to my Patreon supporters who help make these videos possible, including Hilazing Retro Gaming and Jack Mawson. If you want to show your support for Chronic Spartan games, then you can head on over to chronicspartan.com and check out our indie games. You can become a Chronic Spartan patron at patreon.com, or you can kick off your shoes and relax your socks with some Chronic Spartan merch from tpublic.com. All links are in the description below. But the simplest and easiest way to show your support is to just hit that subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in.